Hi guys, Metal Maniac back again, and uh, in this video, um, I'm going to be doing a review on the album The Fragile Art of Existence by Control Denied. Um, this was released in 1999, and it was the only album by the band. Now, this band um, was formerly known as the death metal band Death, uh, of course, uh, um, uh, fronted uh, and created by Chuck Schuldiner. Um, so, tracking back a little, um, to Death's last album, The Sound of Perseverance, from 1998. Um, at that point, that album actually wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, uh, Death was supposed to, uh, they were supposed to end with, uh, um, uh, what was it again? Was it, yeah, it was Symbolic. They were supposed to end at Symbolic. Uh, Chuck already had, uh, plans to, um, uh, start a new band, of course, Control Denied being that band, but, um, the record label they were under, uh, want, I was pushing them to put out one more Death album before, uh, Chuck moved over to Control Denied, and so the Sound of Perseverance happened. Um, but yeah, so then, um, also... After the Sound of Perseverance, of course, they uh, they uh, recorded this, uh, the first and only Control Denied album. Oh, sorry, it's upside down. There you go. Um, yeah, this was released in 1999, and uh, um, of course has the I think the exact same lineup as on the Sound of Perseverance, although Chuck Schuldiner does not do vocals. Uh, he's still on guitar, but someone else is on vocals, so it's not technically the exact same lineup. Um, just 99% the, the same lineup. Um, of course, uh, Chuck Schuldiner on guitar, Shannon Ham on guitar, Tim A. Amar on vocals, Richard Christie on drums, and Steve DiGiorgio on bass. Um, but yeah, so the album starts off with the song, uh, Consumed. This one's pretty good. Um, not the best, but definitely a solid opener track. Um, then, uh, the second, the second song is Breaking the Broken. This one's, oh, this one's uh, a bit better. I do like this one a lot more. Um, I wouldn't say it's uh, extremely a far better song than the first one, but it, it, I do actually really like this one. Um, track number three is Expect the Unexpected. This one's, uh, I'd say this one's probably my fourth favorite on the album. Um, track number four, What If. Okay, so... I love this song, but I don't, I don't, this version is not my favorite. So, the song What If, uh, this official, I guess the official recorded version, uh, this finished version that's on the album, it's pretty good. I do really like it. I'd say it's my, eh, I'd say it's my third favorite, third favorite, second or third favorite off the album, but there is a demo version. Uh, it's not on this one. This one does have a few demos, but it's none of them are the demo. Uh, this version of the song isn't the uh, demo version I'm talking about. But um, there's a demo version of the song What If. And on the demo version, uh, again, there are two demo versions, but this is the demo version that's not on this one. Uh, the demo version, uh, the ver I think it's the first demo version um, before they hired the uh, replacement singer. Um, but... Uh, uh, the demo version uh, has Chuck on vocals, and it's just so much better than what we got on the uh, uh, the final version, and so much better also than what we got on the uh, um, second version of the demo. Um, but I mean, this 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 studio this version uh, that's on the actual album it's it's not bad. I do really like it. I just prefer the version with Chuck on vocals. It just sounds a little bit better, a little bit more, I guess, natural in a way. But yeah, uh, what if? Great song, but I do prefer the first demo version. Um, track number five is the is the link that uh, the link that becomes missing, or sorry, when the link becomes missing. This one's also really really good. I think uh, this is the uh, like from tracks four to eight is where the album really picks up. It's a bit um, 
a bottom heavy, not top heavy, because again, the top half is it is pretty good, but then the bottom half is way better. Um, but uh, yeah, um, when the link becomes missing is a great song. Uh, track number six is Believe, also a great song. Track number seven, Cut Down, really good. And then track number eight, The Fragile Art, Art of Existence, is my favorite song on the album. Of course, it's the uh, title track also. Um, but yeah, um, I had to get those through, uh, I had to go through those actually pretty quickly because I do have a lot to talk about with this album. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, what was I going to say next? Oh, also, uh, yeah, I just remembered what I was going to talk about next. Um, there's a bonus disc. Uh, I know there's actually three different versions of this album, if I'm not mistaken. There's the standard version. There's this version that has a bonus disc with a, a bunch of um, demos. And then there's the third version, which actually, okay, I got this off of eBay, and this was this was listed and pictured as the third version with even more demos, but it wasn't that I got this. This was the second version released with the um, bonus disc with only, like, a couple, like, uh, nine bonus tracks, but uh, it was listed as the newest version. Uh, re-release with the even more bonus tracks. Um, yeah. I mean, whatever. I, I don't really mind bonus tracks. As long as it's, ha I mean, as long as it has the main, the main, uh, um, track listing, it's fine. But, uh, um, yeah, so, the bonus tracks are basically demos of every single song. Um, there's two demos with Tuck on vocals, which aren't very good. But the the one demo that I have heard that with Tuck on vocals, the What If from the song What If, is actually really good. So I don't know what happened with these demos. Anyway, but uh, yeah, and then um, what else? What else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so this actually don't expect if you're if you're if you've never listened to this and expect this to sound like anything from death don't have those expectations because this is its own thing um even it even sounds far removed from uh the later stuff in uh death's discography um and yeah the vocals aren't for everyone i know like a lot of fans who like chuck's vocals probably won't like the vocals on here just because they're one it's not chuck shoulder and i know yeah a lot of people will be like that but also they just the vocal style is completely different um than any, anything chuck ever did um i mean if there's any connection to sound from any of the death albums i'd say this somewhat resembles the sound and style of the sound of perseverance um, in certain parts of certain songs. So, I guess you could kind of say this is the Sound of Perseverance Part 2, in a way. Um, um, but yeah, oh yeah, here's the, uh, uh, discs. And then, also, let me get the little pamphlet out first. Um, I mean, there's sort of a little, like, I guess, read up on the album in the recording process. And there's pictures down there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I can't quite tell whether that's actually King Diamond or just someone uh, dressed up as him. Uh, he looks a little bit too short. I don't know. I don't know how short King Diamond actually is. Um, or how tall he is, I don't know, but I don't think he ever had makeup like this. Maybe he didn't, maybe he did. I don't know. Um, I only have seen pictures of him from the 80s, so I'm not too sure if he ever wore this kind of makeup or not. So it might be King Diamond, or it might just be someone dressed up as him. I don't know. Um. Uh. And there's the, um, band members. And there's Chuck right there. Um, the last thing before I, uh, I rate the album, um, I want to touch up on is the, um, artwork. 
Yeah, the artwork isn't that good, to be honest. It's kind of bland and just sort of... I don't know, the artwork... Okay, so, I put off listening to this album for a long, long, long time because I, I took, like, one glance at the artwork and I'm like, uh, what is this, you know? Like, and then, like, later on, I, like, heard, like, one snippet of the first song and I'm like, uh... So it took me a while to actually uh, come back to this and actually listen to it again. Um, anyway, so my overall uh, rating of this album, I'm going to give it a 6.9 out of 10, so almost a 7. Um, it, is a, it is a pretty good album, although I do highly, highly, like, I prefer, like, majority of the Death albums, like, way over this one, but this one's, I guess, I mean, I'll put, I'll, I'll probably put this uh, album on once in a great while. I mean, it is good, but eh, I do prefer uh, basically almost all the Death albums to this one. But it is still a pretty good album. Um, but so that's it for this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.